Tech Break, I'm Jason Howell, and this time Google is apparently going ultra high end. So you may have seen the news just a few hours ago. Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro have been announced, or maybe more like teased today. Uh, yes, Google's announcing early. Perhaps this is just an evolution of their plan to defeat the leaks as they've been beat by the leaks in the past. Uh, these phones are coming this fall, so we're not seeing them quite yet, but we do have you know, a visualization of what they look like and some information. This is apparently Google shooting for the premium flagship class, really dedicating them to that to that class. And personally, I love the unique looking designs. We've seen leaks before. Now it's official and I'm really happy to see that uh, what is actually happening matches up with the leaks. The camera bump is more of a camera bar that extends from one side of the phone all the way to the other. In some ways, it reminds me of the Nexus 6P, if you remember that kind of like periscope bar up at the top. Uh, but this is just way more luxe looking. And overall, it also has a cool panda type colorway that really reminds me of the Pixel 2 which is another phone that I loved by Google. Both devices are going to have Google's own system on a chip, no longer Qualcomm. Uh, this was codenamed Whitechapel, but now the official name is released. It's Tensor. That makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, four years in the making for this chip, and it's going to focus primarily uh, at least according to their announcement, on AI operations on the device and enhanced security via Titan. Uh, so great stuff there. Google is obviously aiming to give Qualcomm a run for its money, no longer using Qualcomm. We'll see if that works for them. Uh, the 6 Pro has three cameras on the back. The regular 6 has two. Uh, Google's main camera, as you probably know, has been a workhorse for years on its phones, uh, but it's kind of long in the tooth, right? It's, uh, it's taken them a while to really kind of keep up with the competition. So seeing Google step up uh, with a competitive camera array is actually really exciting, and especially when you add in the processor that's on board that's dedicated to AI processing. I think we're going to see some really cool stuff coming out of the camera system. Google says that it plans on investing a lot in marketing. So while these phones aren't releasing until fall, you can expect to see a whole marketing push and hopefully, at least according to Rick Osterloh, a bigger marketing push than they've done before on their Pixel phones. Essentially, this is Google claiming to be ready to compete with the biggest phones in the market. And considering their hardware efforts uh, in the past, that definitely remains to be seen. We will absolutely be talking about this news on All About Android this Tuesday. So join us there at twit.tv slash AAA. See ya.